What's up guys, I'm Random Frank P, back with another episode of Cool Tech Under $100 for this month of October. The series we show off some of the best tech you can buy under that price point. If you see anything you like, I'll have it all listed for you in the description down below so you can check it out. Maybe some good, you know, early starters for holiday wish list ideas, all that kind of stuff. But first up is something that a lot of you have sent me a link to over the past few weeks, and it's why I bumped this month from $50 to $100. So here it is, the Divoom Ditu. I showed off other cool pixel displays from Divoom in the past, but this one has more of a twist to it, as you can probably see. It has this cool retro design, as well as built-in mechanical keys and a little joystick on it. The keys can be used to navigate the menus and stuff, change music levels, brightness, or use it directly just for the built-in games. There's like Tetris, 8-Ball, uh, Salat, a few other ones. But you can either play it directly on the Ditu itself, or kick back and use the controls on your phone. On the side, you have the charger and the power button, plus a micro SD memory card slot if you want to load this up with music because this multifunctional desktop gadget, as you can tell, is also a speaker. The six keys on front are mechanical. They use these clicky blue switches inside with some nice gold accented keycaps on it, as well as a joystick for that visual flair. But like the other Divoom products you know, uh, this display can be completely customized. From showing the date, time, weather, social media notifications, the 16x16 16 16 pixel display gives you the option to really display whatever you want, from custom drawings or animations. The app literally has thousands of different photos, GIFs, and animations that you can choose to display on here. And odds are, whatever sort of theme you're into or game you like, there are some sort of pre-made graphics already for it from the community. I just think as this interactive desktop gadget, it's definitely a cool pickup. Probably gonna be a pretty big hit for the holidays. Comes in a few different color options as well and they come in between 95 and 99 dollars depending on which color option you get but i'm really digging it next is a really cool and compact phone gimbal and stabilizer that easily fits in your pocket as you can see it has built-in controls gestures face tracking and acts as this extending selfie stick to get some extra depth and separation if you're going to be vlogging so, vloggers or TikTokers out there, you'll definitely enjoy this one. It's the Smooth X, and it comes in gray or white color options for just $50. All you do is put your phone in the holder, you power it on and pair it over Bluetooth to their app, then right away you have full control of your phone for taking really smooth and stabilized video, extra wide selfies, portrait or landscape orientation, all literally in the grip of your hand. Now what I really like is the way they have it designed with the added flexibility because the head of the gimbal itself can digitally pan 300 degrees and 285 degrees vertically, but the head you can also mainly tilt so it's more level with you if you want to kind of frame your shot better. So again, with something like this, it's just a better way of getting really smooth, stabilized shots. It's gonna cut down on the shake and jitteriness if you're walking around, vlogging. And to show you a quick example of the stabilizing, it does a really solid job for the price. So like I said earlier, it comes in at $50 or you can spend an extra 10 bucks like I did and get their bundle with a carrying case and a tripod base. The tripod will not only act as like an additional handle if you want, but it'll let you set this down if you want to get some cool panorama shots, or if you just want to set it down and have it film you without tipping over. All right, so obviously if you're going to be vlogging and stuff for like, you know, the holidays coming up, whatever, and you want a stabilizer that is also on this like extension pole to gain some depth and separation, for the price, this is really, really good, and it's doing a good job of keeping it all stabilized right in front of me. All right, so next up, we have the Cooler Master Control Pad. This might look familiar. They've sort of showed this and teased it over two years ago. CES 2019, I did a video on this and showed it off at their booth, and it's finally here. Like, just came out. This is an analog control pad, pretty much, with their aimpad technology. And if you're not really sure what an analog gamepad really means, it all depends on the pressure. So if you press down hard on a switch, it'll reflect how fast you move in game. So if you move lighter, you'll slowly creep in game, press it down all the way, you'll go full speed. This obviously gonna be really helpful depending on what games you play. Something like super hot or racing games, you could definitely take advantage of having that manual control instead of just a traditional key switch where you press it down and in game you go one speed. So the control pad itself is made really nicely, brushed aluminum finish, a detachable magnetic wrist rest for it as well. It has 24 keys, full built-in RGB lighting underneath, plus those two dials up top. Those are what I really, really like. So everything here can obviously be completely reprogrammed, but those dials can be used for just quick and easy, you know, volume adjustment, LED brightness adjustment, or something like if you're into Photoshop, how about brush size or hardness? You can make those dials whatever you want. And obviously having two is better than one. Added flexibility. 
Analog controls in your hands is gonna be a huge added benefit. So this unit here has Gateron Reds. They also come in a Cherry Red option as well. But since these switches are linear, that's what's gonna give you the full control of how hard or how soft you press down the keys. Since they're linear, you know, obviously it's not gonna actuate at a certain tactile bump like you would get on clicky switches. I'll briefly touch on software, since that's gonna be pretty important with something like this. Obviously you have your lighting tab, which will let you switch up the RGB lighting that's built in. But everything is gonna come in their key mapping tab. And that's where you can go and reprogram all the keys to be whether a keyboard binding, a mouse binding, media keys, macros you can create. You can assign them to whatever of the 24 keys you want, as well as the two dials. And since they scroll up and down, that's two different macros or functions you can set to each dial. But to change the actuation force of these actual analog keys, you want to go into the dual action tab. So that you can have it so it actuates at, you know, 50%, 10%, 100%. This is where you're going to change everything up. And additionally, they're gonna be selling different keycap sets that you can add to this for, like I said, whether it's Photoshop, InDesign, Premiere, gaming, you can get those extra keycaps so you can actually visually see what that certain function is in that software. And as you guys know, I love macro pads. I've showed off numerous different ones on the channel. They're very useful to not only gamers, but photo editors, video editors, streamers, whatever you're doing, you can take advantage of macros. So when it comes to having 24 of them packed into this with two extra dials, and the fact that it's all analog just gives you so much control. And this comes in at $90, which I think is a really good price. And then next, speaking of functions and macros, we have the IQ Nexus. This is from Corsair. And you know, it's gonna give you yet again, more flexibility to add this to your desktop, add it to your keyboard, volume controls, in-game macros, all on this little screen. They have some certain preset profiles you can load onto here for certain games. You can import community profiles as well. But also, since it's tied to their IQ software, this could also change up the lighting for your RGB keyboard, or change up the lighting in your PC. You can show your PC temperatures and clock speeds for your RAM, your CPU, your GPU. Inside the software, you can go in and completely customize it, switch it up, create your own macros for launching profiles or just anything you want. Again, you know macros. Set them all to here. They have a few uh, built-in like graphics and little icons as well, so you can use those when it comes to creating your macros. And if you want, you can also just preload some GIFs on here to have it just subtly play in the background as like an added kind of, I don't know, screensaver if you want. So this came out over the summer, I wanna say, and as you probably saw in my Corsair K100 RGB keyboard review, if you haven't checked that out already, I had this attached to the back of it. Inside the box, it does come with a mounting clip to actually attach it to those certain Corsair keyboards, but it also comes with a separate housing if you don't have a Corsair keyboard and you still wanna use this on your desktop or on your PC. You plug it into here, then plug it into your PC, and now you have this completely functional macro screen right at your fingertips. The IQ Nexus is $100. And then lastly, we have a banger of a mouse. It's a lightweight wireless ergo design known as the Ponage Ultra Custom. And yes, I did just drop a full in-depth review yesterday on the channel. So if you wanna know more in detail about it, definitely check that out. This will just be a quick rundown, but I definitely wanted to include it in this episode as well because it is under $100. So the Ultra Custom comes in both black and white color options, but what's really cool is, as the name implies, Ultra Custom, they include opposite colored shells inside the box, as well as different shell covers. So if you wanna go lightweight honeycomb, you can do that. If you prefer a solid top shell and you hate honeycomb, you can do that as well. But it just gives you that option now to customize it and switch up the look right to your liking. But where it gets interesting is Ponage also sells nine other colored shell options on their website. So you can pick up you know, additional shells if you really wanna get into color coordinating to your setup or a certain aesthetic that you may have going on. Swapping shells is really easy as well. They're just held in by these small magnets and clips. And overall, the construction of the body of the mouse is not compromised in any way. It still feels really good, no durability issues. And again, I just really dig their approach to this because there's really no other company out there like this giving you the option to go in depth when it comes to customizing the color and the shell of your mouse. Inside, the mouse uses the PMW3335 optical sensor, which is optimized for a wireless design. It's great on battery life as well, and overall, I've had absolutely no issues when it comes to lag or latency with it. Gaming has been great. You also get 100% PTFE feet on the bottom. Gonna give you a nice smooth glide. There are six customizable buttons in total to the mouse, and include a USB-C cable for charging, and integrated RGB lighting to the mouse. The Ponage Ultra Custom is $89 for the black model, $99 for the white model, and overall, for a mouse, this shape, the weight, the features, and the fact that it's wireless, it is an awesome deal for under $100. There is nothing else like this on the market. I loved it. Definitely check out my full review if you're interested.
So all right guys, that'll wrap it up for this episode of Cool Tech Under $100 for October. Hope you enjoyed. Again, if you wanna check anything out, we'll have it all listed for you in the description down below. If you did like this episode, give it a big thumbs up to show your support. Feel free to follow me on Twitter, at randomfrankp. And last, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. I hope you all enjoyed. Have a good day.